What is up guys? Jay back again with another Minecraft tutorial and this time I'm going to be showing you how to make this which is a light detector. It detects when it's day and night so you can have it hooked up to lighting so lighting comes out of the ground at night or whatever so yeah let me just show you in action quickly I'm just going to turn it to night time so if it's a bit dark I'm sorry but yeah moon's coming up now so it shouldn't take long it usually takes up to about 30 seconds I think so it's pretty quick but it works on a random factor so it could be a bit longer or it might be more or less instant you don't know so it's just luck really but it does come on pretty soon after nightfall which is uh, you know it's cool so yeah I first saw this on Efo's lab on his channel and if you're not sub to him there'll be a link in the description you probably should do because he's ridiculously clever with redstone and he makes awesome things like this so if you haven't checked out his channel before please check it out it'll be in the description so this should change any time now it's pretty dark now so let's just try and get a better angle so you can see the circuit flicker when it comes on like I say it's random so sometimes it's instant or sometimes it takes a bit longer this seems to be taking a bit longer just because I'm recording and it's decided to be an arsehole so yeah still waiting kinda annoyed I'll put oh there you go just as about turn around it starts working so yeah that's it so as you can see it's dark now the lights come up out of the ground and I'll just turn it back to daytime and that'll go back down shortly it works using one of these basically which is a block update detector so when anything changes next to it it sends out a short pulse so played me I'll show you how to build it now first of all you want to dig a hole which is six long by four wide and five deep this extra bit here is just so I can move around better and these steps also are that's just changed so yeah uh, you don't want to be build these three rings of grass one block between each ring and the rings are three by three and you want to start it one away from this back wall and we are now going to build the block update detector so you want to fill this middle one up at the bottom and just place one here and put a sticky piston on top of that and then a block next to that it doesn't matter what it is then need a torch there, a block there and two blocks there so we have that and then we have that like so you then need to put another block on top of this torch and one on the side and then two join in it and you just want to take your output redstone there so this should be working now I think you need a one tick delay there so if I just place this block now our block update detector is working perfectly which is what we want so I think the next part will be to add the T flip flop onto the side sorry about that guys I uh, kind of forgot which T flip flop I was using but that's sorted out now so I'm going to show you how to build it you should be looking like this now so you want to come to the side here so you've got this view here and you want to completely fill this bottom row you then want to add two there and one there and you'll want to place a block there and put a sticky piston on the side and then destroy that block you then need to put a torch behind that sticky piston some redstone dust there 
a repeater there with a two tip delay I think I'm pretty sure that's what it is you need to put a piece of redstone there and a block on top of it and that is basically your T flip flop done apart from this block here and this redstone torch here if you then want to try it out you can get a button quickly and I recommend putting this button on anyway to be honest because you need it to calibrate it later on but as you can see there that's how it should look and that means the T flip flops working right turn it back to daytime again so that's good that's how you want it you then need to get inside the center here and put a normal piston directly on your block that's going to be moving so next to this piston here so that's extended because the T flip flop is in its extension state and then when I stop that as you can see the piston retracts so press the button again piston expands again piston retracts that's exactly how you want it so now you have your block update detector which is this bit here and you also have your T flip flop that we just made so now I'm going to show you how to connect the two together if I don't keep falling in you want to put grass here you want to put grass anywhere you can really so when you fill in holes and stuff you want to use grass because that means that basically what it makes the system work is this when it's submerged and it's night time will turn into dirt and then that block update detector sends a pulse to the T flip flop telling it to extend this piston so there's no water on it and when it goes back to daytime the grass grows again so the more grass that you've got around the quicker it is going to regrow so you really want to use grass wherever you can so as you just saw there just added a block here and took the wire over the top here and I'll just fill this in and put another block there you then want this and a repeater here and I'm not sure if that's got a delay on it so I'll just go check uh, no it doesn't there's no delay on that one so you can then put this redstone here and I think that could be it for linking the two together just check it by activating this so there's no power on that at the moment as you can see it pulsed that's good so piston is not extended because the T flip flop isn't in the right state so once a block changes piston becomes extended once the block changes again it retracts again so that's working perfectly now so now all you need to do to make it a fully working lights detector is get yourself some water obviously you could do it with a bucket and you then need to make sure this piston is retracted if it's not retracted you just want to hit this button until it is retracted and then just place water here so now when it turns to night time that grass will die and it'll trigger this block update which will trigger the T flip flop that one's just worked so this one shouldn't take long for some reason it always seems to be slower the first time you do it which 
I don't know why but yeah if you want something like say you want a piston that just comes out at night and goes back in the day your output for that is on if you put a block here like so and put redstone dust there when the T flip flops triggered that will trigger and like I say it always seems to take a lot longer the first time so hopefully it will trigger in a second so I can show you this T flip flop working well this output working sorry uh, come on Yep, so that grass has just died and triggered this. So now there's a charge coming from there, uh, which isn't working. Oh no, sorry, that's a block too high. That needs to be there like that. And then you just need to root that up. So now you've got an output on at night, and then if we just turn it back to daytime, and wait for the grass to regrow see that one's just triggered absolutely instantly that's one's worked a couple of times now so I don't know if that makes it quicker but it seems to be definitely so as soon as this grass regrows which should be any second now the output will go off I'll come back to that in a sec once that's gone off. It, oh, it's just triggered. So the grass grew and this output went off. And then if you want to use lights like the ones I showed you last time, they don't need an on off state like this. They just need a pulse. So all you do is this piece of redstone here, this cross, you have to come to the side. That's really important. Make sure you come to the side. So this is still going into this block. And then all you need to do is take it up. And then instead of getting the constant on off, you will just get your pulse. So turn it to night time. Hopefully it'll trigger pretty quickly. And if it does, you can see that this will just pulse. So this one will come on and stay on. And that one will just pulse. As you saw that one just pulsed whereas this one stays on so if you wanted things coming up out of the ground at night you'd use this one or if you wanted a block switcher like mine you'd use this method and just have it pulse out so then you wouldn't need this block here but I suppose you could always leave it there just in case you wanted to add one in so yeah that's how you build that and then you can just cover that up completely flat and it'll still work fine so yeah cheers for watching guys don't forget to leave a rating and comment and let me know what you thought because I can only get better if you tell me how to get better basically so yeah I'll see you later guys